Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do Isabella's nursery tour and it's not finished yet but I've been putting it off for so long just so that I could get the last bits together but I thought I would just show you how it is and then you can help me decide what's missing and what else do I need in this room but I'm pretty happy with how it is. It's my favourite room in the house at the moment. I've spent quite a bit of time trying to make it look cosy and pretty for her so I'm going to give you a proper room tour, show you inside the cupboards, how we organise her clothes, tell you where all the furniture is from and everything in her room. So let's get started. So this is the door to her bedroom and as you come in this is what you see and starting with the floor she's got grey carpet in her bedroom. This is the only carpeted bedroom in the house but it was like this already when we moved in so we kept it because it makes it nice and cosy and this is what you see so I'll give you an overview of her room. It's not a massive room, it's fairly small, it's only a nursery and when she grows up she can move into the bigger bedroom. Um, so I'm going to start by telling you where everything is from. So I'll start with the chair over here. So this chair is a rocking chair from Ikea and I'll leave everything linked below. And I absolutely love this chair. It's so comfortable. I sit here every night to give Isabella her milk. And then alongside the chair we have this uh, lamp, this floor lamp. Uh, ignore the wires there, we still have to figure out what to do with the wires. Um, but this lamp is also from Ikea and this is actually a charger, a wireless charger for your phone and so every night I put my phone here, it doesn't matter if I'm here forever or if I'm here for five minutes, I know my phone is charging and this is how you turn on the lamp. So I just changed the shade because this lamp and the stand came with a huge shade and I went for a smaller shade because I think it fits better here in her room and it's just a nice cute lamp and I went for this little uh, blush pink shade which goes with the rocking chair uh, cover so you can have different covers, colours on Ikea. So this is what we've got here. This blanket is from Mother Care. It's one of my favourites. I've had it since she was a little baby and it's just so snuggly. And this cushion here is from Tesco, I think. Just a white cushion. And then you have the three-piece um, nursery for her. So she's got a chest of drawers, her cot and a wardrobe. And I'll leave a link below so you can see Matthew and I building this set, all the three items. We did a video for Argos with Channel Mum and um, we actually built it ourselves which I can't believe and it's turned out so well and I'm so pleased with it. So I'm going to start over here in this corner. So here you have the uh, chest of drawers and this also has an option to put a little changer at the top but because we don't change Isabella on there anymore I just decided to just build it as a chest of drawers and on top here we don't have anything glamorous we just have a bar with the essentials that you need for a baby so we've got muslins, nappies, nappy bags and wipes and then on this wall here this is my latest project this is the last thing that I've put here in her room I got these wall stickers from Aldi of all places and how cute are they so this is just like a hippopotamus and uh, clouds theme and I think it looks so pretty and it gives a bit of colour to her room but I really want to do something with this wall here so the wall that you come in um, from the front there so that's the that's the entrance of her room that's where I came from and then this wall here is very bare so let me know what you think I should put in there I don't want it to compete too much with the little stickers on that wall but I do want something nice because it's very bare and it only has a radiator on that big wall. Um, so on top here we've got some little books from That's Not My uh, Collection which she loves and then a couple of spot books which a few of you recommended and she really likes it. Then I just have this little swan. I don't think I'm going to keep that there, it's just something to keep the books from falling. And then this here is Ollie the Owl. So we have not set it up yet because we only got it a couple of days ago. Um, but this plays white noise and it also has a nice little night light for her. And I'm just desperate to try anything to help Isabella sleep. Um, so then this is the chest of drawers and inside the chest of drawers these two little drawers hold her socks and her tights in this one 
and then in this one here we have hats we have some more muslins here like smaller muslins and then we have her little hair bows and clips and bits and bobs like that these compartments i got it all from amazon so i'll leave it linked below because they're really helpful to organize um all the clothes and then inside this big drawer here we have pajamas in this side over here we've got short sleeve vests in both of these and then in the bottom one we have more short sleeve vests we've got long sleeve vests uh, we've got short sleeve and sleeveless tops and then here at the back we also have some more and then here we have some muslins we've just got so many muslins and then just a couple of shorts and skirts that she has coming up for summer so that's how we've organized her little chest of drawers and i think it's really functional i absolutely love it then on the windowsill here we have this baby sign which my mum got her i don't know where she bought it but i think it's really really nice and this candle holder here is i can't remember where it was from I probably something like home base i just thought it looked really pretty there and then moving on to this side so this is her cot and it's a pretty big cot compared to her previous cot this is enormous it's really wide as you can see this is a full-size adult pillow there so it fits a full-size pillow and it's really long as well which i think would be good because this converts into a toddler bed so when she's old enough she can go into a toddler bed and above the cot we have this little wreath there which was from our wedding um this is actually from john lewis i looked on the back i still had the tag on this but this was from 2013 it was one of the decorations from our wedding and i just thought it was really special for her to have something from our wedding in her room and i think it's just really girly and pretty um but again i'm not 100 percent sure what to do with that wall it just looks i don't know if it looks okay with just the wreath what do you think um but i don't know i'm still thinking of things that i could do there and then panning this way we go back to the area that we were before on top of the wardrobe we have her baby monitor which is from bt this is the bt 7500 light show and it's my absolutely favorite baby monitor but they have discontinued it so i'm completely gutted that i can't get another one because we've had to use a different one for james but it's just my most favorite it has all the features that i need and it's really neat and compact it pans it tilts it zooms you can control everything touch screen it's just really great so i'm so sad that they have discontinued it oh and i forgot to mention that this here is a breathable um cot bumper that i got from amazon and i don't know whether it does anything if it makes any more cozy or anything like that but i don't know i just have it on that side so this is the wardrobe so it's actually a long wardrobe and then at the bottom you have a big drawer as well which is quite helpful and inside it has a double rail which i thought was a genius idea because children's clothes are so small and then just to have one long rail is such a waste of space i thought this was genius so i'll just show you a few of my favorite pieces of clothes that she has at the moment so she has this beautiful dress from next which she's going to wear to my sister's wedding in brazil in a couple of months well in a couple of weeks actually so i think this is the most beautiful dress i've ever seen and then she also has this other dress here from next which she wore to her birthday and it's got sparkles and it's just gorgeous um this one here is also from next and i think this is really really pretty as well with the embroidered detail with the flowers there and this one is from primark which has got butterflies and really cute this one is also from primark it's just a white dress for her uh quick christening there in brazil and this one here is from Boots, which she's going to wear for her birthday party in Brazil. Uh, this is actually for my son James because she does, he doesn't have a wardrobe yet. So his smart clothes are being held in here. This is for the wedding as well. So this is what he's going to wear. And I think it looks really smart. And then at the bottom here, I just have some more uh, clothes. So I've got some tops here. I've got some trousers and some more tops, some more tops. And then over here, I've got pajamas that she'll grow in to and then i here i've got her little shoes so she's got some white shoes 
pretty next shoes to wear for the wedding um, jelly shoes from Primark and these are James's shoes and she also has her uh, cool sunglasses which I think are really cute and then in the bottom drawer let me just close the doors here um, it's not very organized but this has just got all her bedding I've got some new bedding to put on uh, in her cot and it just holds a lot of blankets and things like that so that is it this is Isabella's nursery now the sun is coming through so it's the light is a bit weird and I'm really happy with how it looks oh and the little shaggy rug here on the floor is from Ikea that back wall is also very bare and I really want to put something nice there maybe some more wall stickers but I don't know what to do or maybe some prints from Desenio or something like that what do you think so tell me what you think I should do on that wall on this big wall here that has the radiator and if I should just keep the wreath over there or put something else on the walls there what do you think so that is it. This is Isabella's nursery and I really like it. It's very cozy. The only thing I don't like about her room is the fact that we have creaky floors. So as you can hear there, very creaky floorboards which when you're trying to sneak out after you put your baby to sleep is the most infuriating thing and she often wakes when we're trying to get out of her room and i asked on instagram if any of you knew of anything that i could do to fix creaky floorboards and most of you just said you just have to rip the carpet apart and fix it from underneath which is such a pain and we really didn't want to have to do that so if you have any more ideas of what we could do um let me know in the comments below and yeah i hope you enjoyed this little room tour make sure to leave your comments below with your suggestions and your ideas of what we should do with the rest of the room and if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in my next video bye